Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to the YouTube Layout Hop for August 2019. Uh, today it's going to be freestyle, but you have to use washi, so you can do anything you want as long as you use washi. And I'm going to do this picture here of my granddaughters, and the one on the right is the one who sent me the picture, and it was their first day of school. So I am going to be using Creative Agenda, and that's like my favorite collection of all times and I bought it several times because I like it so well and I've got like five washies there to use maybe four or five four four and um, that sheet right there is creative imaginations it's from 2008 and I will run across it while I'm scrapbooking and pull it out and use one and then forget about it and it'll sit for a long while and then I'll use another sticker. I am going to use one today. Yeah, I had it out, so yeah, I used one. And this page here, I guess I cut the inside out and then didn't use it. But I'm going to use the outside part of it today. And I'm going to use that paper right there. I do debate on it and the arrow ones quite a bit because I did like the arrow one, and they are dressed in blue. But I decided it was too dark, and I wanted something lighter, so I'm going to use this plus sign paper as my main background, and I'm going to have the tan as just a border around the outside of it. And there I was deciding how to cut it. First, I was just going to cut it a little ways away from the branding strip but I decided I might have to use that little strip for something and it'd be a whole lot easier to cut with it wider than that more narrow and I started to uh, make a border around my picture there with white but then I thought well that piece of blue and I was going to do blue next but then I thought the blue had green on the back and there was probably enough there for cut the picture down a little bit that I could use it and do two borders with the green and the blue so that's what I'm going to do and I think it looks a lot better than the white one it looked because I do like that color green oh and the first time I cut this I cut it crooked yeah no more paper than I had to pick from and I cut it crooked so I had to trim it up a little bit just to get it straight and I switched to this trimmer yeah I go back and forth because I like to use this one more it's just not quite big enough and I can't use it for everything so I'll switch back and forth with that other trimmer and like I said this is for the YouTube layout hop and I decided to do a back to school picture because tomorrow will be the first day of September however the kids in our area went back well, it was over a week ago, and it was on a Thursday, and I will put Thursday on here, and I could have looked at the, come in the other room and looked at the calendar to see what day it was, but I didn't, and I was a little lazy, so I put Thursday, 2019. I figure my granddaughter will know, and this is going to go on her album. This is going to go on the one on the rights album, because she's the one who sent me the picture the first day of school, and she said on her note, you know, on, in her text, she said that she wanted me wanted to remember this for the rest of her life because it's the first day in a new neighborhood. It's not like she'll have different kids in class with her because it'll be the same kids in junior high and in middle school that she had before, but it is the first day of high school and first day in a new neighborhood. And I'm looking through these, trying to decide on something, and they're all a little busy, but I thought that one was probably the least busy, because it was like the same thing over and over again, and so I am going to end up using it. I'm looking on the other side just to see if there's anything I wanted to save on the other side and use later, and I did think about saving it every day I am hustling. Yeah, because my, the, the one who sent the picture, she has a really hard time getting up in the mornings. And by the time she gets up, she is hustling. The other one, she gets up a whole lot better and gets ready a whole lot better for school. But I am going to cut the right hand of that off 
no, the left hand, because on the right hand side it's kind of faded and bleached out looking, and I wanted to keep that part of it more. And here I am debating still on the on the arrows, but I finally go with that, and I think, okay, I'm going with that. I might as well glue it down since I finally made up my mind. And so yeah, I glue it down and um, do go with it. And here I'm deciding how much I need to cut off. I wanted to do a banner, but it's so wide and takes up so much space that I couldn't make the tail part of the banner very long and still put my title on there. So it's going to be a very short banner as far as the tail part goes. And I started to cut it, and I thought, well, I'm not sure if that's a center. And so I decided I'd just fold it over and cut it that way. And for my title, I'm going to put High School, Here We Come. And the high school is going to be with these letters. And they're from uh, Pink Fresh Studio, Indigo Hills. And um, I'm going to use the, oh, those little blue ones that's from, Pink Page, uh, from Paige Evans' collection for the other words. And yeah, I'm just going ahead and put my picture down so I'll know how much room I'll have left for my title. Oh, and I said the right-hand side was a little wider than the left-hand side. So I was going to cut it to make it to match there. And so now they're both more narrow. And oh, I before I put my title on, I do put my washi on. And the reason I did it right then was because I happened to glance over and see it. That's why I put it on the table. I thought, if I don't put it on the table where it's almost in the way, I'm going to forget to use it. And then I'll be done with the video and have to go back and put washi on there. But no, I remembered. And the top part says, hello today. And the bottom part says, favorite. And then I'm going to layer those really tiny washies. Yeah, I'm going to layer them. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do them with the real light mint and then the pink and then the blue um, glitter tape. And I'm going to do that at the top and the bottom both. And uh, yeah, aren't those tiny? I was just like... Not expecting that. The ones with the glitter I ordered from Peachy Cheap. It was one of their daily deals. And I thought, wow, that's a pretty good deal. And I got them in and I thought, wow, they're tiny. I was hoping they'd be a little bit bigger than this. So then I, the Amazon popped up like the next day. For some reason it popped up there when I was on Amazon. And I thought, huh, I'll get those. I thought for sure they'd be the size of this one that I already have a set of. Nope, they were even smaller. I did not even know they made washi that tiny. But it adds to the page. And so I have got four different washies on this page in two different spots. So I think I accomplished the washi part on here. And the glitter one is the last one. So I'm done with the washi. It's on my page. And the rest is freestyle. Up to me any way I want it to be. Uh, the, like I said, the high school part is going to be the Indigo Hills. And then I'm going to use the Paige Evan ones um, for the uh, Here We Come. And the colors on those two are really close to the same. So they went really good together. And I love using those Paige Evan ones. I don't have any of the other colors yet. I have seen them on YouTube videos. But uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby. We do have a Hobby Lobby in town. So yeah, that's where I got them. We didn't used to have, but we do now. And I really like the ability to be able to just stop in there when I need to stop in there and get something. And I did put an exclamation point on there. I almost didn't. And then I thought, well, I think it needs one. So yeah, I put it on there. Oh, I decided to put the year down here. And I'm going to end up moving it pretty quick because I'm going to find a label that's on the sticker sheet. And I decide to put it on top of that label. And it, it's a, 
uh, I'll uh, craft colored like the background piece, the, the edge going around there. And so I thought, well, if I put that there and then put something else on the page that's craft, I'll be repeating that three different places on the layout. So that's the reason I do that. And the one, the sticker I just put down is I never want to forget. And I thought that was awesome when I found that page. That was the line I thought I has got to go on my page because in her text she said she never wanted to forget this. And I took it as a hint to do her scrapbook page since she sent it to me. But yeah, it's going to go in her album. Here I'm pulling up the 2019 and I'm going to put that sticker down. And the sticker says seize every moment. And um, I am going to pull Thursday off that sticker sheet too and put with it. And I don't think I'll pull it right now. I think, yeah, no, I don't. I, I think it's a little while before I find it and stick it on there. And I'm going to use one of the flares. And the flare, it's a craft colored one, craft with white lettering. And it says notes and it's got lines. And I don't think I could write on it. I don't think I have anything I could write on it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell her she can just write anywhere she wants on the page to put her journaling I'm not going to give her a special spot on this one. She can just put it wherever she wants. And this says craziness. So what it's going to say is, high school, here we come. Love this craziness. And then, of course, notes on the flare. <laughs> and up in that corner, I'm putting a sticker that's a push pin. And I just pulled it back up because I thought, well, I'm going to put a little foam tape under it so it kind of looks like it's stuck into something like a push pin would. And I'm also going to put a little sticker that says captured. And so I have it like it's pushed in and stuck there with the push pin. Of course, it may not look like that to you, but that's my idea when I did it. And uh, the captured, it's like the mint color. And I was afraid it was going to blend in too much, so I'm going to end up backing it with the dark blue, so it'll show up a little better. And the th and I'm going to just put adhesive and have it down flat, since I'm putting the push pin up there on foam tape. <clears throat> and I get to looking at that craziness, and I thought, well, it's kind of blending in too. So I go to pull it up, and it's coming apart. So I have to glue it back together to be able to use it. But I decided to leave that love this and not try to pull it up and do anything with it because it does look like it's blending in too. But I had so much trouble with the craziness, I decided I'd just leave it and let it be there. Let it blend in a little bit. And looking at that uh, flare, the foam tape that's under it is what came on it. And it's really thick foam tape. And looking at it on my layout now, I'm thinking, man, I'm going to pull that off when I get done with this video and make it less high profile because yeah it's sticking up pretty high and it's gonna, it's way above everything else in the layout even though I do have other dimension on the layout it's it's got the most and what am I doing now oh okay I am fixing that upper left hand corner I'm trying to decide what I want to go there. And I'm going to put this little label that says Real Life. And of course it's the um, mint color too. It's the same color as the captured. So I thought I might as well make it match it. So I put dark blue behind it. And I've been wanting to use that plus sign. Oh, I got sidetracked. <laughs> so that stuff's going to lay to the side for a moment. Uh... I started thinking I needed red again because I had it in craziness and I was going to put the plus sign on the upper left hand corner and I seen those letters there on the stickers and I thought I've got enough that I can do new neighborhood since that's what her text said so that's what I did on those and I did put them on foam tape and I really didn't have all the word there I needed another D so I just put a P upside down and so the last letter is a P, actually, instead of a D. But it looks enough like it to me. And I'm going to use the enamel dots. And they're, 
I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use the dark blue and the mint color and a red color. So I can repeat them through the layout also. And I guess I've forgotten about that upper corner again once I laid that sticker down. But you can see the plus sign right there. It's going to draw my attention in no time. And I will put it up there. Oh, I never did go ahead and get that put on that piece of blue card stock. Well, I think it's pattern paper actually considered pattern paper. But it is a dark blue on one side and a mint on the other. And I'm going to cut this in half. And you're not going to see me do it, but after I don't, uh, the vi after I finish the video, I was cleaning up the area and I had that little tiny bit that I cut off the plus sign. And I thought, might as well throw it on there somewhere. So I put it right above the 2019 so that it will be on something and won't go to waste and I won't be throwing it away. Yeah, it'll go right there, right above the 2019. But that's my layout, and I appreciate y'all watching. And if you leave a comment below, I'll be sure and get back to you. If you like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. And since this is a hop and we do have a sponsor, please be sure to leave a comment for that reason, if nothing else. And leave a comment on everybody else's videos, and your name will go in a drawing for a prize. But thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Bye!